Hello everybody and welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you my September bullet journal flip through. My friend Evie has a bullet journal and a stationary kind of channel and she inspired me to do this video so yeah, thank you Evie. I've never actually made any type of bullet journal videos on my channel before but if you would like to see more bullet journal videos I can maybe like make this a monthly thing where I show you my flip through um, then let me know in the comment section down below. I'm sorry if in this video my voice sounds a little bit croaky, I think I'm starting to get a little bit of a cold so my voice doesn't sound too great. Also we are so 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 close to 400 subscribers so if you haven't already make sure you go in there and subscribe but without further ado let's get on the video. So I thought I would just start off with my bullet journal and what it actually looks like. So this right here is my bullet journal. It is one of the like trim, I'm not too sure how you say it, but um, it is just down here. You can get these from places like Amazon and W.H. Smith. So this right here is the opening spread and it is the title page. This is what it looks like and I really, really love how this turned out. So for this spread, I said to do it very like autumn and fall related because obviously in September we're now moving into autumn, which I'm so, so excited about. So on the actual title page, I did a little flask, I think it's called, and then I drew loads of different autumnal things around the outside. So I drew things like hot chocolate, pumpkins, leaves, foxes and things like that, which I think is really, really cute. And then on this side here, I wrote Hello Autumn and drew loads of different leaves falling down the page, which again, I think looks so, so cute. And it's probably actually one of my favourite pages. Then moving on to the next page, I have the monthly spread. So again, I absolutely love this page and I think it looks super cute. So at the top here, I just wrote September and then I've just got the monthly spread. I haven't written anything in it yet because I knew I was filming this video, but once I finish filming, I will start filling it in. I'm writing down things I'm actually doing next month. And then again, like the title page, I just drew loads of different autumnal things around the outside. This, along with the first page, is probably one of my favourites just because I love how it looks. I think it's like so aesthetically pleasing. Then moving on to the next page here, we have my mood tracker. Now, this month I said to do my mood tracker differently. I normally draw my mood tracker like this, but as you can see here, I just got bored of it and stopped filling it in. This is from last month. So I decided to go for something different this month and I decided to do a graph because this way I can, I have loads of different options because I drew a sad face and a happy face so I can plot it all the way from top to bottom. And then at the top, I just did the little classic thing that I feel like everyone was doing last year. We did the little text inside the big text. Um, but yeah, I really, really love this and I think this one's going to work out really well. And then I did a quote page and I wrote Autumn, the season that teaches us that change can be beautiful because I'm normally really bad with change. So I thought this would be a good way of reminding me, especially as I love Autumn. So yeah, I think this is a good way of reminding me. Then moving on to the next page, I have my habit tracker. Now I haven't decorated this page much, but I thought I would leave it quite simple. So at the top, I just wrote habit tracker, and then I've done it differently again this month. Normally with my habit trackers, I do things like this, but this month I decided to go for this one because I thought it was very different. I don't know if you can see because I've drawn it in pencil, but I've done little boxes, and then across the top I've written every day, and then down here I've just got my different habits that I want to keep up. I wanted to start experimenting with different ways, and I think this is a really good one, so yeah, I really like it. And moving on to the next page, I have the beginning of my weekly spreads. So I don't normally do this in my bullet journals, but like I said, I'm trying to do different things. So I thought this would be a good way of doing something different. And I absolutely love this page. So down the side here, I just wrote September, but like downwards, which I think is really cool. And then drew a little fox at the bottom. And then I've just got an each day. And then I just wrote week one, because that's the first week. And then I just drew some leaves falling down the page again. And then down the side, if you can see, I wrote have a good week. I just started writing like different kind of, not quotes, but different kind of things just to keep me motivated throughout the week. So then the next page is the week two, as you can see up here. I did this one differently again, so I just did little cute boxes, and I made this page quite simple, but down here I wrote think positive, and then decorated it with a couple of bits and pieces. Also on each of the weekly spreads, I've put notes, so if I have anything I need to remember for school or something, I can always write that down there. Then 
then for the week three i did this kind of thing and it's like a kind of like twigs with like leaves coming out i don't know how to explain it and then for the boxes i just wrote the days at the top of them which i think is really cool and then down here i wrote everything will be okay because i think it's always good to remind yourself that And then for week four, I just did these kind of boxes, which I think are kind of fun. And I've put like, I did stripes where I wrote the day. And I just decorated the page with different dots and stripes. I think it looks kind of cool. And then down here, I wrote, you are amazing. And then for the final page of my bullet journal spread for September, it is week five. I know it's not really a thing as week of week five because it's only two days, but I thought I'd still include it anyway. And I did the classic, like, writing inside the big writing, if you know what I mean. And then I wrote full is sweater weather and crunchy leaves, which I think is super cute. And then on the final page, I did another little quote page and I wrote, leaves are falling, autumn is calling, which I think is super cute. I think I'm so cute about a thousand times in this, so I'm very sorry. But again, like the other ones, I decorated it with different leaves and then I did little main leaf down the bottom. So that is my bullet journal flip through. So I really hope you guys all enjoyed the video and all enjoyed seeing my September bullet journal flip through. If you want to see more of these videos, like I said at the beginning, then let me know in the comment section down below and also give the video a thumbs up too to let me know. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you go and unsubscribe. Like I said, I'm really, really close to 400 subscribers, so it means a lot to me if you went down there unsubscribed. But I'll see you all very, very soon for another video. Bye!